morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Hope for Today. It's September 9th, and you know how we roll on Monday mornings. It's a brand new week, guys. Get up out your bed, bend the knee, and thank God for another day. We're going to act like a thing is so this week, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so. Uh, Genesis chapter 41 Verse 49 is talking about Joseph when he began to become a leader of Egypt. The Bible says that there was a great time of abundance. And in the time of abundance, the Bible says in verse 49, and Joseph stored up grain in great abundance, like the sand of the sea until he ceased to measure it, for it could not be measured. The Bible here is giving us history, but at the same time, it's teaching us a principle on the power of being prepared for a rainy day. Now, for you and me, that may simply be having the wisdom that we need to understand how to navigate diverse situations. But for me, it's talking about saving my money. Because Joseph saved well, he was able to navigate life well for a future moment in his lifetime. Now, the old adage used to say, make all you can, uh, save all you can, so you can give away all you can. But we've turned that into just make all you can. No wonder so few families are prepared for the future. I don't know about you, but I think one of the greatest witnesses you and I can make as believers is to save our money and steward it wisely for the glory of God. Now, I know when we say that, a lot of us say, well, yeah, but I haven't showed up that well as I am supposed to. But here's the good thing about the gospel. There's always grace to make a new start. I remember starting out as a pastor, I had a thousand dollar a month salary, and then I got this extra job to pay uh, the bills. My grandfather is get listening to all the good news about the new job that I have. And he says, well, you were making it on a thousand a month. So you really don't even need this extra that God gave you. Why don't you just save it away? Of course, 25 years ago, I didn't listen to my grandfather. And a lot of us feel that way, that we didn't listen to what our grandfathers or our mentors had to say. The truth is the best time to do the right thing was 20 years ago when you knew what the right thing was to do. But the second best time to do the right thing is right now. And God's grace says, hey, the same way that Joseph made a good start, you can make a good start right now. And I pray that that's your day and your week. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.